Our research project's main goal is to convert paper and plastics into food to improve military resiliency for expeditionary forces. Right now, say you have a platoon of Marines somewhere, they're, they're gonna generate some amount of waste, whether it's a plastic material, food waste material, or even things like cooking grease and oils there. So right now they have to come up with some way of uh, disposing of them. And they're generating kilograms or per person of this per day. So if we can take that essentially waste material that they're having to dispose of and not get any value of it and turn it into something valuable, um, it can extend their deployment. My role in this project was to implement the previous designs from other researchers into a continuous tubular reactor so that we can commission it and then I can perform experiments on that to try to optimize the reaction conditions um, to make thermally oxidegraded products from plastic. We're incorporating a lot of uh, heat transfer and thermodynamics into our system as well as some chemical engineering um, basics as well. Because we're dealing with reactions, we have to take into account um, equivalence ratios, the stoichiometry of the reaction, to make sure that we are optimizing the amount of oxygen that we're putting into our system and um, converting as much as, as much as the plastics into products. My role with the project is uh, really on the design and development of a continuous thermal oxidegradation reactor. Uh, so looking at you know, different sizing proportions of reactors, as well as even the collection and condenser side of it as well, just trying to figure out what components and need to go into the system uh, to optimize and utilize um, these different waste feedstocks in, in order to convert into these thermodegraded products. When plastics are degraded in a thermal environment without oxygen, it produces a variety of hydrocarbons. Those are analogous to a charred hamburger for some of the single cell biomass as in terms of food. However, if we add oxygen into the system and thermal degradation of the plastics, we then produce oxygenated products instead of hydrocarbons, which is kind of like adding ketchup to your charred hamburger so that the taste of the charred hamburger is then mass and the yeast want to readily consume it. Eventually, we hope that this is gonna have applications beyond the military, uh, producing food and reducing the amount of plastic and paper waste in the environment.